Hey everyone, this is Nemo and welcome to another exciting PrestaShop tutorial. So, today we're going to see something very cool, again for PrestaShop 1.6, we're back to it, and that will be an image for the search block Ajax results. It's very fancy, but actually very easy to achieve. So, for this, we're going to edit a couple of files, search.php, the search class, and block search.js, uh, this uh, module's JavaScript file. I'm going to use PrestaShop 1.6.1.7 for this, but things should be the very same in the latest version, which is 1.6.1.10 at the time of this recording. So let's get to it. I'm in the classes folder of my PrestaShop installation, and I'm going to open up search. .php. Now, what we're going to edit is around line 300, and it's uh, 301 actually, and it's um, basically returning the results for the Ajax search. You can see it's getting the product ID, the name, the category name, the link rewrite for the product, as well as uh, this one, as well as the category. But we need the cover, the cover image, right? So let's start edi editing this thing first. I'm gonna store this result to, um, let's call it Ajax result to a variable so that we can modify it, okay? Let me just make some room. And um, if there is no Ajax result, then I'm gonna just return false. Otherwise, for each Ajax result as, a, let's call it, a key, so we're looping through these results, the search results, as um, a val. So for each of the results, we're gonna first get the cover with image get cover, and we're gonna pass in the product ID, so a val, that's um, our uh, single product result, and um, it's an array, so ID product, so this will get the cover, okay? Then, we're gonna assign the image to the output. So, Ajax results, since we're in the loop, we're gonna target this element of the loop with a key, and we're gonna add a property, well, an element to this array, which is image, which is gonna be this, uh, sorry, not this, context, link and um, this is uh, just calling the link class it's an object an instance of the link class and we're going to use get image link pretty easy to remember a val we're going to pass in the p rewrite which is actually the link rewrite as you can see <clears throat> excuse me as you can see here as it has um, an alias P rewrite. So this function, this method, sorry, accepts first the product's rewrite, then the ID, so CV ID image of our cover, this one we got here, and lastly the image type. I'm going to use card default since uh, I think it's the proper um, size for it, okay? So out of the loop, we're gonna return Ajax result. Now, um, just, I wanna stress it again, I am editing, I'm saving the file now, I'm editing the core file here, okay? But you should really not do this in um, the production environment, while instead, you should better create an override for it, okay? Now, next up, we gotta edit the block search.js file, and we can do it in the theme folder, so themes, and yours might be different if you're using a custom template, but I'm gonna use the default one. So default bootstrap JS modules block search, and you can see block search.js. I'm gonna open it up, and then I'm gonna scroll down until you can see this is um, auto-completing the search. So we're gonna edit the parse function, and um, Let's add the image right here. So this is the line that creates the output HTML 
for the results. So you can see it's the category name followed by the product name. So we're gonna add, uh, I think I'm gonna use an image tag here, a simple image tag. So it's gonna be image source equals, and then we're gonna add data i dot img because as you can see we're just accessing the properties of this um, element in the array since it's um, it's a for loop with uh, data square bracket i dot img which is our um, our new element the one we added here okay remember if you use an override you have to clean the class index file but uh, never mind if you just edit it the um, default one. We're gonna also add an alt tag since we want to be precise, and it's gonna be again data i dot p name. Okay, save, and now let's refresh. Hopefully, Chrome is not getting stuck. So let's look for a t-shirt. Okay, it's it's something something's wrong. So let's see what it is. It's undefined, and uh, let's check why. So, uh, return Ajax results. I forgot. Uh, I I added I added the um, extra s. So I'm gonna save it again. Oh, let's see if it works. T-shirt. Okay, that's awesome. Good. So uh, we're basically done. I think we could add some padding and styling and things here, but uh, uh, you know, I just get away with a simple space, I guess, for now. All right, so I think uh, this is everything for uh, today's quick tip. I hope you found it useful, and if you did, please subscribe to the channel and follow the blog at nemops.com for other great PrestaShop tutorials and tips. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time.